So the city of Florence is a city built on top of an old Roman city. The Romans, practical people that they were, built a lot of their cities down in valleys by rivers usually, because rivers are good for trade, rivers are good for communication, rivers are good for a lot of good, a lot of things, sanitation, right, water, everything. This is not a Roman city. We're up on top of a hill, not in a river valley. This was an old Etruscan city. The Etruscans predated the Romans, okay? The Etruscans are kind of between the Greeks and the Romans. The Etruscans liked big fortifications on top of hills. So this is an old Etruscan city. That's gonna be important in just a moment. So now, as there's a big uh, pilgrimage route that comes all the way from France down through Italy towards Rome in the Middle Ages, this becomes a main hub for that pilgrimage route, okay? And as a main hub where the French are coming down and going to Rome, people stop here. It's good for trade. This becomes a wealthy hub. At its height in the 12th century, San Gimignano had about 13,000 people living here. That's more than lives here today. Okay? So many, many towers are built. It's a city of towers. You maybe saw that from the, from the bus. Only 12 remain today. At its height, 72 towers existed in this city. So what Manhattan was in the 1930s, towers, 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 San Gimignano was in about the 1130s. Towers, wealthy families competing with each other. And the towers were used for all sorts of things, the storage of goods, the storage of wealth, but also residential areas where people slept, where people entertained guests. So you'll see lots of big towers around San Gimignano. Okay, if you know your world history, what happens in Europe in the 14th century? The Black Plague, middle of the, middle of the 1300s. 1348, the Black Plague hits really hard Two-thirds of the population here dies, just like that. Two-thirds of the 13,000, gone, okay? And the plague did not affect cities like Florence, down in the valley with its river, its source of water, as much as it did these isolated towns on top of the hill, okay? So Florence, as a growing republic, takes over this area. Now they lose their power for the most part, and towns like this San Gimignano are literally stuck in history. So very little has changed from 1348 to today. Wow. And that's one of the, the charming characteristics of the city is you can pretty much go back about six centuries, seven centuries in time by visiting today. Okay, there's two main churches in the town. One is right in the middle at a piazza. It's just the church of San Gimignano. They call it the Duomo. It's a, it's a little piazza. There's a big staircase that leads up to it. That's a church that I want my students at least to visit and go inside. And compare that to the other church on the far north where is it? The Church of St. Agostino. It's an Augustine church. Very different style you'll see. I want you to be able to compare those two. There's also frescoes on the walls of St. Agostino I'd like you to see for, for painting history. So those are the two main churches in the town. The San Gimignano right in the middle, staircase, big piazza, and then on the far north side, St. Agostino.